Hello everyone, this is Yana Smakula here at Svalbinders and thank you so much for joining me today. This video is a part of my layered dimensional die cutting series I'm hosting on Svalbinders blog and YouTube channel. Once a month, I am sharing a card and a video tutorial in the traditional Spellbinder style with lots of die cut layers and dimension. It's never too early to start making holiday cards, so today I am going to show you how to make a shaped Christmas card. Keep in mind, if you aren't making holiday cards just yet, you can use this idea to create a project for many other occasions. I'm only going to use holiday dies as accents. So by switching those up to a flower or any other kind of die, you can change the entire theme of the card. The dies I'm using today are Ho 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 dies, Build a Stocking dies, and Victoriana Crest dies. The latter is a rather large die and you'll want to pick a big one for the card base. So begin working on your card by die cutting two panels using crest frame die from the Victoriana Crest set out of pearlescent white cardstock. The thicker the cardstock you use, the better, as it will make your card base sturdy. Next, trim about a quarter inch off the bottom of one of the die cuts to create a flat edge. This will help our card base stand upright and will prevent it from falling to the side. Now score the same panel at about an inch of the top to create a hinge just like so. And now adhere the two die cuts together to create a card base. It's easy to make shaped card bases like this using a variety of Spellbinders dies. I find dies that have an outer edge and a decorative insert to them work better for this task rather than just decorative edge dies. But you can experiment with different designs to see what might work for you. The next step is to die cut and emboss crest frame and crest dies from the Victoriana crest set out of gold mirror cardstock. So now, having that outer die and inner detail die, I'm able to create a decorative layer for my card. Go ahead and foam mount this onto the card to add a pop of dimension. Next, go ahead and die cut an oval using oval insert die from the Victoriana crest set out of patterned paper. I chose this tiny polka dot paper from the Snow Fun paper pad from Cartabella and again foam mounted it onto the card. Since this paper is rather thin, instead of using foam adhesive, I'm using Fun Foam. I've already cut an identical oval out of regular white Fun Foam and going to add adhesive and going to use it to pop my patterned paper oval up. To dress this oval up, I'm going to adhere pearls around the edge. I have these self-adhesive pearls, they are connected, and that makes it even better as I don't have to space each pearl individually on my card. Now let's start working on the embellishments. Die cut four stockings using the stocking die from the Build a Stocking set out of patterned paper. You'll need to cut two pieces out of patterned paper and white glitter paper. So two more pieces out of white glitter. Next, cut the white stocking into pieces and adhere them onto patterned paper die cuts. Go ahead and die cut bells out of gold mirror cardstock and adhere onto the stocking. Now, to make it easier for myself to adhere these little pieces, I've added double-sided sticky to the back of the paper to create an instant sticker. This way, I don't have to add glue. Next, die cut a bow out of gold mirror cardstock and foam mount onto the stocking. And it's time to foam mount the stockings onto the card. I also die cut candy canes out of white and red paper and adhere them behind the stocking to make it look like as if they're placed inside. One last thing I want to do is to die cut the number 25. I've added double-sided adhesive sheet to the back of the red cardstock and I adhered it onto fun foam and also added double-sided adhesive sheet to the back of the fun foam. I'm going to die cut 25 from the Ho 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 set and we'll go ahead and adhere it onto the card. I also stamped a Christmas blessing cinnamon. I used black ink in Hero Arts Holiday Messages and Tags stamp set and foam mounted it over the stocking. Lastly, I added a nice ribbon bow onto my card. So this is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the third episode from my layered dimensional die cutting series. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button and share this video with your crafty friends. If you have any questions about this card, please leave them in the comments section below. 
and be sure to subscribe to Spellbinders YouTube channel for more education and inspiration. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.